we we're just having a little discussion about, you know, making long casts looks great, but when you're dealing with a lot of cover like this, it's not good for hook setting. See if I can get this guy out of the pads. Oh man, they get caught up on those pads and then you lose them. Is he still on there? I don't know if you can lunge at him because those pads, he's not a bad bass. Man, this, you gotta, have you thought about operating a lodge up here? What did that bass have for lunch? Trigger X frog. That's why it's so important to pause that split second, keep reeling, wait till you feel the fish and then nail the hook. So he ate it. So the one nice thing about these things is they're soft and hopefully he's only got one hook in him because yeah, perfect. Look at here, look at this. That's what, I took his meal away. Let me just spread the legs so it looks nice here. I took his meal away. There's the fog. I'm using a black one because I'm partial to dark colors when it's overcast because I really believe that it casts more of a silhouette because black is a lack of color. Reagan's got on that frog that's kind of chartreuse. It's nice and bright and both can work really well. So this guy hit, he was back right in the pencil reeds. That's amazing. I mean, a lot of guys like to fish bass and you know what? I'm impressed for this time of year with the conditions that we've had.